learning to drive in China. The demand here is staggering. Driving schools the size of universities, whole campuses dedicated to it. This is the result of an ever-growing wealth in China. This country of bicycles is now a place clogged by cars. But the result of that is this. China's pollution embarrassment is well known. The air here reaches 40 times the safe limit, and cars are a major factor. The smog is so serious now that, oddly, it presents a huge opportunity. Electric. The SP-01 is the fastest electric car in the world, made in America but sold first in China. We want to demonstrate to the world that our capability of putting something really exciting into the market. I think China has the right policy, right incentive and the right drive from the government. China really do need some solution with their air pollution. Ladies and gentlemen. Government claims of commitment have caused a scramble in the market. Here's a plug-in Porsche revealed first to the Chinese. And remember Rover, Chinese owned now and available with a battery. And here's one on the road, the first Chinese made electric car, it's called the E150 EV. It's a great drive, the problem is though, they haven't sold any. In a Beijing suburb they sit waiting for buyers. There are some taxis, electric taxis here. The factory next door lies idle. And out at the back, more. Underneath all this dust is an encouraging plan, though. It's just not quite there yet. Sir Hai is a director of the company behind the car. The development of the electric car can't happen without the support of the government. But I do think our goal of getting electric cars to every household can be achieved. We just need the infrastructure. That is coming slowly. The government has pledged many more of these, along with rebates of £6,000 per car, a figure only somewhere like China could afford. If it works and they sell, then given the numbers of people here, prices would come down, technology would improve. The global electric revolution could just get the kickstart it's waited for.